Hi, welcome back. That last episode was pretty dense. This one will be much easier. It's part two of Add a Quiz. In the last part, we added a quiz and we created questions for the quiz. In this part, we'll add the questions to the quiz and take the quiz as a student. So let's get started. We're back in our course with the editing turned on. I'm going to go to add a game and here's the Moodle midterm quiz. I click on it. Now to add questions to the quiz. Presently we have the quiz but there's no questions yet. So we go into edit mode and click on the category. There's two questions in this category and to add it we simply click this arrow, add to quiz. And there it is. That's our first question. Now we're going to add nine more. Second question, Moodle Spree. If I don't like the order, I can change it with the up and down arrows. And now I'll add from the resource category. I'll add a label text or web page. I'll click the add the picture. I'd like to add the picture above this one, so I'll click the up arrow. Now to add multiples in one go, we simply click the action, select, and click the add to quiz. That'll add all these questions to the quiz. Now we go to the add activity category and we're just going to add the last two questions and add to quiz. That looks good and I'll just click save changes. And that's it. Now I'll take the quiz as a student and I'll log out. Now I'm going to log back in as a student and it auto generated my password. I'll go into the Moodle introductory course. I'll click on the add the game. scroll up to the Moodle midterm quiz. Okay, we're taking the quiz. It says Moodle midterm quiz, Moodle midterm quiz. Hope you have been paying attention because here is your first Moodle quiz. Attempt quiz now. Moodle is free software, that's true. Guests are not allowed in any Moodle course, that's false. How do we add a picture to the Moodle main page? We choose add a resource and sort a label. Match the correct answer to the text. Show as a link on the course main page and we don't see HTML. That's compose a web page. This one is compose a text page and the last one is insert a label. Now I'll go to the next page. How do we add a navigation block? We click it. blocks add HTML. You need to download software to view an embedded mind map. That's false. You need Microsoft Word for a worksheet with DocX. That's true. 
YouTube videos cannot be added to Moodle. That's false. And we'll go to the last page. Choose the correct match, form glossary or wiki. An online discussion site where people can hold conversations in the form of posted messages. That's a forum. Collaborative dictionary where students can add definitions to a list of topic keywords. That's a glossary. And a collaborative website where any registered users can edit the site. That's a wiki. But I'm going to choose Moodle to see how an incorrect answer is graded. And wikis can be edited by any registered user. That's true. And I'll click Submit All and Finish. You're about to close this attempt. Once you close the attempt, you'll no longer be able to change your answers. Okay. Let's review the quiz. So the Moodle midterm review of attempt one. I see the date, the time, the marks. And it's a weighted mark. So out of 10, I got 93%. That's not bad. And here's all the questions with the check mark. And so the student gets instant feedback on all the questions that he took. And there. And this is the one mistake. And if I'd left feedback, it would have been, uh, it would have been shown here. And then I'll just click finish review. You can reattempt the quiz. And there's a minus penalty on some of the questions. And basically that's it. That's a Moodle quiz.